friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be trying out the ColourPop Plush Like Me collection. So this is really kicking off, this is really kicking off a week of random try-ons. I bought four new collections and I do plan on doing a purchaser pass solely talking about um, the different holiday collections that have come out and if I plan to purchase or pass on them. Um, a lot of them I'm not super into. I don't consider any of these, maybe one of them, to be like a holiday collection. Two of them are regular collections, two of them are lip collections, but all three videos this week are going to be trying out new collections, and then the Wednesday video of next week is also going to be trying out new collection. And then I'll take a break from the new collections. I know. I'm just really pumped. And I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see these, even though they're kind of late. And overwhelmingly, most of you said yes. A couple of you said that you didn't really care about the one that's coming on Wednesday, but then some of you asked for multiple looks with the collection coming on Wednesday. So I'm still going to do it. I'm just going to do all of them. And we're just going to jump into it. So I bought the ColourPop Plush Like Me collection because so many people were pointing out how it was like the 90s, grungiest vibes ever. And I live for that. That is my aesthetic. I love that so much. So I had to pick it up. I had to try it out. And I was considering, instead of buying like the whole thing, buying the bits and pieces that I wanted. But like literally, I wanted the whole thing. So I have done foundation. I did, I did my skincare. I did foundation. I did concealer and I did my brows and eye primer, and then that's it. So I'm gonna have to like jump kind of back and forth here because I don't have everything in here. I have lip products, I have blush sticks, I have a highlight, and I have an eyeshadow palette. But we're gonna be trying out all of that today, I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna start with the blush sticks actually because I've already come this far in my face and I really wanna set my face, so I want to uh, get a jump on that, but I didn't wanna powder my face before I did a blush stick. I'm gonna start with those. Um, everything that is still available will be linked down below. I don't know if the entire collection is still available anymore. Once again. I'm sorry. I asked you guys. You said you wanted to see it. Don't blame me. Um, but, and ColourPop moves their shit through so fast. I can't, I can't handle it. But as much as I can find will be linked down below. If you have other requests for things you'd like to see from me, let me know down below because obviously I'm always open. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into it though because I've had this collection sitting in my room. Now I will say it actually took a long time to get delivered, but I've had this sitting in my makeup room for like a week and a half now and I, I, I need to try it. I want to use it. Um, so there are four blush sticks that came with this collection. The packaging is the prettiest. Also, I'm wearing basically no rings. I came downstairs because there was a package delivery and realized that I never grabbed any before I came downstairs and that I was too lazy to go back upstairs. So there are four shades in here. One of them is called Mall Rat. I'm going to look at that one first. I will also be doing swatches of everything um, in this video. I probably should have mentioned that, but I will be doing swatches because it's a new collection. Hello. This is what the packaging looks like. It is so pretty. So this one is Skater Boys. Skater Boys is nice. It's like a little more pinky than I was thinking. So that's nice. That would be like a very light shade in my opinion. Um, this one is Winona Forever. Ooh, this one's like a wine red. I like that. That's really pretty. This one is so called. That's definitely more like purple based. And I don't know if this is based off of my so called life, but that was like, that's one of my favorite shows. And then this one is Mall Rat. I really want to use Mall Rat. That's like a nude nude. Okay. Now I gotta think, because I don't know what eyeshadow look I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna go with Mall Rat just because that's, it's my vibe. Okay. I feel like a poodle every time I do this. Every time. Okay, I'm gonna use Mall Rat. Um, Mall Rat is a movie, and it is a Jay and Silent Bob movie, and it is amazing. It's, it's grown up. I watched it when I was much younger, but now I'm looking back, because I was just about to talk about Ben Affleck's character in the movie. It's a grown-up movie, uh, but it is so good, and if you haven't seen it, might I recommend it, because it is just a classic, and I'm pretty sure that Stan Lee was in that one, too. I'm pretty sure. So I literally just put that right on my cheeks and I'm blending it out with the grungiest looking beauty blender that I have. This is the one that I use today and I don't know why. I don't know why it looks like that, but it does. And I used the UOMA, the UOMA foundation today, okay? If that matters to y'all, um, because I know that I like that one, but it's like nice and thin. It's not like a super thick formula at all. So I figured that one would be like the best, safest option. I do think it's really pretty actually. Like I do, I like this blush look. It looks, 
it looks pretty. Um, it's not the grungiest shade of my dreams, obviously. That probably would have been Winona Forever. I think that that is probably my favorite shade out of these, is the Winona Forever shade. But I like this. This is really nice. It's really pretty. This shade is gorgeous. It's just lighter than what I was expecting to do today, but that's okay because it's Mallrats. I had to. Um, yeah, I like that. And these blend out so well. Like, I really like the ColourPop blush sticks. They're super affordable, and they blend out so easily. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go do powder really quick, and then we're going to come back and talk about the highlight, which is actually a body powder, but no one cares, and I'm going to use it as a highlight. Okay, we are back. I did powder. I did a little bit, a light bronzer slash contour with my Fenty Beauty Into Sun, and now I'm going to do a little bit of this. Okay, so this is the Shimmering Body Powder in Catwalk. So you're supposed to be able to use this on your body. I want to use it on my face. And also, I bought the ColourPop It's a Mood palette, but that's like, did that come out after this? I don't know. I'm not doing a video on that one. Um, but I bought it in like the little set. I love their makeup palettes. Don't judge me. Like their makeup palettes are so good. I have like I used to really be into like their nine pan palettes and now it's like makeup palettes all the way. I love them. And the nine pan palettes surprisingly have not been catching like my interest very much lately. But I bought the set that came with the brush roll because I have some ColourPop brushes that I actually really like. So I'm going to use um, these brushes today and we're going to try out this highlight. It is so shimmery. Like I am obsessed with this. Okay. That's like just shimmer central. I don't know if in the future I'd use this as a face highlight. Maybe. It is like really pretty, but it is definitely a whole palette of shimmer. Here is what I'm going to do. Put a whole bunch of it on there. And then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to blend it out a little bit. That is like nothing but sparkles. There's like the teeniest, the teensiest hint of pink in there. Um, and I like it, but... I don't know if I would, like, I feel like that would be much cuter on the body, but it is nice. I like it. It'll work for today. Now I'm going to go into the eyeshadow palette. So I have the Plush Like Me Pressed Powder Palette. Um, this is a 12 pan palette. Oh my God. It's got like this like velvet on the front. I love that. That feels so nice. And look at it. Ooh. Um, okay. So I love palettes like this. I love this shade right here. Like, can we just please? It's so pretty. Um, okay, I have no idea what I'm gonna do though. I have no idea what like, I'm gonna do. So, I have like a, like a grayish top on. Maybe I could do like a green with like sparkle. What does this look like? I'm kind of feeling the greens today. I was not expecting that when I sat down here, but I feel like I'm kind of feeling the greens. So, we're gonna go with greens. Let me grab a new brush out of here. I hate brush rolls like this. Like, they're great for travel, but, like, I hate... I kept them in here for the sake of the video, right? Well, like, I washed them, I put them back in here for the sake of the video. And I think I'm gonna take them out as soon as this is over. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this runway shade, and I am just going to lightly set... Oh, this was the wrong brush. My eye primer, just because I have not set my eye primer yet. And y'all know how I am about that. I just like having that nice, structured base. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into the depth shade. How appropriate, I'm gonna go into the depth shade. Um, and I think I'm gonna do that. I'm really trying to think here. I'm trying to think about what would be the best option. Cause what I'm thinking wouldn't really involve a transition shade, but it kind of would. It's gonna be a very simple look today and I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So let's just dive into it. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and then kind of take it into the crease. Did they change their brushes recently? Because I don't like this as much. This is not as good as I remember it being. I'm wondering if I should have done this as a cut crease, but I don't. I want to keep it like super simple. I'm just trying to like build this shade up because I want this to be dark, but this shade isn't like crazy dark. And I'm going to take a clean brush and blend it out a little bit especially on this side here. So I've been like not, ColourPop always like just burns new releases like they're going out of style. And I've never really minded that, you know, cause it's, it's exciting. There's always new stuff coming out, but then they started recycling shades and I was like, oh, okay. I will say though, this collection and the lip collection 
um, have caught my eye and a lot of the new collections really haven't. Like I love Animal Crossing. I play Animal Crossing all the time. The Animal Crossing collection, I know that one's like old now, but like that one is kind of where it started to get weird for me because I was like, okay, like it's cute. But, and I wish that they would stop with changing, like they switched from the circular eyeshadow pans to squares. I hate that. And then like they do quads that are squares and I hate that. And I wish that they would like stick to one thing or the other. And I feel like that is really a move that messed with a lot of the people like myself who have like the collector's mentality, you know, because now it's like this whole thing and it doesn't match the rest of the collection. Um, but I feel like a lot of the, I'm going to go back into runway and I'm going to, um, with the same fluffy brush that I've been using to blend it out and I'm just going to use that to blend it out a little bit more just to try to get it a little seam, seamless -ler. seam, what? Um, but I feel like, like the Lizzie McGuire collection, I loved Lizzie McGuire as a kid, and that one, you know, everybody was so excited with Lizzie basically having a new show, um, and then Disney ended up pulling it, which I think was really dumb. Even that collection, like, I liked it, but I didn't like it enough. It wasn't, like, unique enough. I don't know. I just feel like they could have done a few things differently. And I know that that collection was really popular, so I'm not trying to knock it or anything. It just wasn't for me. My point being, I feel like I'm having a much easier time, like, saying no to ColourPop collections. And they just released the Mega Palettes are what I'm having a really hard time saying no to now. Because I really like the Mega Palettes. And they just released another something. And I wanted, like, one thing in it. And I didn't get it. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is TLC. And this is going to be the star of the show because I don't know why this green shimmer is oh, speaking to me. And I'm going to put that almost all over the lid. It is going to be, I mean, this is going to be such a simple look. I just need something like, I don't want to use the term wearable because it's all wearable. But I want something just like super simple and fresh today. I'm going to... Um, we're taking the kids to a movie in the park thing tonight and I just want to be like comfortable. I don't want to deal with like falsies or anything like that. Now that I can finally wear them, you know, I just want to be nice. Now I'm going to walk like that's going to be a chip on my shoulder now. Um, I just want to be like nice and cozy and comfy, you know, and we're going to do a really nice, simple fall vibes look and I am here for it. Okay. And then, irony of all ironies, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Video Night. And that is going to be what I put on kind of the last quarter of my eye. And then I'm going to bring that down to the inner corner. Because I love the shimmer shades so much. They make my heart so happy. And then I'm going to take the teensiest bit of that, put it under my brow bone. On my brow bone. Whatever. I got a little bit of glitter fallout like not a whole lot but like a teensy little bit okay that's a super simple eye look i'm gonna go do eyeliner and mascara really quick and then i will come back and we will do lips i think i'm most excited for the lips so hang tight okay so i used my nabla cupid's arrow full color silo in number seven um as my eyeliner today and then i kind of smudged it out using a smudge brush i also had to mix up with my mascara so if it's smudged, that is why. So now we are going to jump into the lip products, which is one of my favorite parts of any collection. We have four of the Lippy Pencils, which is basically their lip liners. We have Good and Plenty, Grunge Girl, Over the Liner, and CD. Okay, so this is Grunge Girl, this is CD. This one is Good and Plenty, and this one is Over the Liner. Um, I love all of these. I love all of these. That's gonna be a really hard decision. And then this collection came with eight eight I said of the Lux Blur lipsticks. You guys, I will say I do really enjoy a lot of ColourPop's products. I thought these were liquid lipsticks. These are real lipsticks. Oh, I didn't know that. This is Regulate. Why? And I should have known because the Lux Blur, I don't know why in my head I had like liquid lipsticks. Okay. I love the packaging of these two. They're just so stinking pretty. This one is Gen X. That's like pale, pale. I like that, okay. That one might be a little too pale for me. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna run through the swatches of these really quick. 
Um, this one is called Matte AF. I like Matte AF. That is gorgeous. I can probably put my glasses back on now, can't I? Because I've done my eyes. This one is Cryin'. I, looking back, I did know these were lipsticks, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted this collection because I was like every single one of those shades of lipsticks I'll wear. I don't know why in between that time and now my mind, my, my brain flipped to them being liquid lipsticks because the new lip collection is liquid lipsticks or like liquid lip stains or something like that. And I wouldn't have purchased both. I don't know what is wrong with me. This one is Kate. Kate is super pretty. I am not going to remember what any of these are at the end of all of this. Ooh, this one's band tea. <gasps> oh, I like that. I see. I feel like I've got to use that one. This one is call waiting. One of these days I'm going to figure out how to do swatches um, where you guys can see them all and it's not atrocious. It won't be today, but one of these days. Okay, this one is the last one and this is plucked. Ooh, that's pretty too. Okay, you guys, like look at these lips. Look at the, do you see? Oh my god, I love them. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with this combo today. So this is the over the liner uh, lippy pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this first. The lips are gonna be the star of the show today. Okay. So I always fully line in my lips because, um, where did the cap go? I feel like in my personal experience, when my lips start to fade, it doesn't fade as unevenly. So I always line in my, all like my, the whole thing, right? And honestly, like I would just wear this by itself. Like this is beautiful. But um, I really want to try out the Matte AF Luxe Blur. This I think is my favorite shade out of all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one today. I like it. Okay, so listen. Um, my only complaint about this collection, I think, is that I do wish the palette was a little more, like, grungy-ish, but for a 90s kind of themed collection, um, I feel like this really does work well for that theme. Um, I did go for a more basic look today. The lips really are, like, the star of the show, but honestly, this is a good collection. I like it. It's really nice. I love the packaging. I mean, it definitely gives me like those 90s vibes. I really enjoy that. I'm going to take this lipstick off of my arm before I get it all over my shirt because that is exactly what I would do. And their Luxe Blur lip line is so just gentle and soft on the skin and it's moisturizing. Even with a matte lip, my lips feel moisturized. And in the winter time, my lips get so stinking dry. It's insane. And I definitely feel like this just, mm, I like it. A very nice, simple fall look today. I love it. I love the kind of throwback to the 90s. I feel like this shirt is like semi 90s ish as well. So I feel like it all plays nicely together. And I really enjoyed this. So have you tried this collection? Do you plan to um, while it is still available for the short time that it is? I, like I said, I know at least the eyeshadow palette is still available. So let me know down below what you guys think, if you plan to try it. Um, I do have a couple more new collection try-on videos coming up that I mentioned. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy those too. If you are interested in seeing those, then make sure you're subscribed by hitting that bigger subscribe button below me. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I like this. I do. And I feel like the more I see it, the more I like it because this is very like if I'm not doing like super bright colors or like these super dark like black shadow smoky eyes this is the type of like neutral looks that I would go for it's a little something more but it's still on like the more neutral side I love this it's this is a, the, like the perfect neutral fall look for me so let me know what you guys think down below thank you guys so much for joining me here today and I will catch you all next time have a good one bye